Hello everyone and welcome back to Yakuza Kiwami 2 in the last session. We completed our first championship at the Cabaret Club, that was very good. And then we went back to the main story a little bit and uh, pushed forward. And we are going to be meeting up with our boy Majima. Five chapters into the game and we haven't met him yet, which was uh, starting to feel strange, but luckily. Alright, <laughs> we've got all these new keys to find out. Luckily, uh, we will be meeting up with him soon. However, before we do that, we've got a little bit of a fetch quest to go on, apparently. Uh, which will be down in Don Quixote. So, let's... 180 and... Uh, head there, I guess. Because the, the cop has rung us up and been like, Yo, can you buy me some underwear? Right. Because apparently she didn't know that she was going to be away from home when she chose to come away from home. No getting out of this fight, is there? Oh, maybe, maybe. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. I was like, I was mashing A. I, I, I still haven't learned that shops are now accessible without going through a loading screen. And so I was running towards the door, mashing A, expecting to get taken away from them. And then I just walked in. I was like, wait, do they still follow me in here? But no, they don't. Right. Uh, she wants a beer. Uh... Which this is, and <laughs> do you want some green trunks? Uh, okay, those. Fucking three grand. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, man. Three fucking grand. You're, you've got a speech mark on the map, but it's not blue. The blue ones are substories, right? So what does a white one mean? Yeah. Excuse me, aren't you Kazuma you san uh. Yeah, that's me. Oh, well, it's a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance. I'm Suen Naga, the headmistress of Sunflower Orphanage. Oh. Wait, Sunflower? Kazama-san built that orphanage. Nishiki. Me. Yumi. Later, Haruka. We all grew up there. Is this about Haruka? It's having her there causing you any trouble. Trouble? Oh, no, quite the opposite. If anything, the orphanage is never so bright as when she's around. That's a relief. But if you don't mind my asking, what happened to the old caretaker? Oh, he was having a spot of health trouble, so he made the difficult decision to move back to his family in the country. I've taken over in his absence. I see. But what brings you out to the city? This isn't the safest part of town. Oh, well, I'm ashamed to admit to you of all people, but money's been getting tight lately. After Kazama-san passed, things have been getting difficult, to say the least. I'm sorry to hear that. Kashiwagi-san stepped in as our benefactor, but despite his best efforts, he's just too busy to spare us much attention. I know this is a lot to ask of you, sir, but if you have any love for the orphanage still, do you think you could assist us with an occasional donation? Hmm. I owe everything to Sunflower and Kazama-san. I can't promise I'll be much help, but I'll certainly contribute what I can. You will? Oh, thank you so much. I make regular trips to Kamurocho to pick things up, so you can talk to me anytime you'd like to make a donation. Or if it's more convenient, you can use ATM in a convenience store around town to wire us. Uh. That sounds easy enough. Just out of curiosity, how much are you thinking you'll need? Well, no amount would be too large, but I think somewhere in the ballpark of 50 grand would keep us afloat as far as basic living expenses go. Got it. Thank you again, Kiyu-san. Oh, it is a sub-story. Wait, I'm confused then. What, why was this white? Why was this a white speech bubble on the map? If it was the start of a sub-story, and others are blue. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I actually have no idea on that, so if someone would like to let me know in the comments, I would appreciate it. So Inaga needs 50k to help keep the orphanage up and running. I should donate what I can. Well, I do have plenty of cash, so let's just fucking give it. Hey there, suinaga san I have some money for you. Hey! Oh, Kiyu-san. That's great news. Simply wonderful. Oh. She wants 50 grand, but you can give 100 grand? I mean, now that we're doing the cabaret thing, I'm pretty flush with cash, so 
why not? Have 100k. Let's see what happens. If we go above and beyond. You're too kind, Kiyu-san. I can't state enough how much of a help you are to these children. Thank you. You donated 100 grand. <sighs> hmm. Mm. Suenaga-san, there's something wrong. What? Oh, Kiyu-san. You see, the orphanage recently took in this boy about Haruka's age. His name is Hayato-kun. He's a troubled child, and he's not made a single friend yet. I'm quite worried about him. It can be tough to acclimate to an orphanage situation. The other kids are treating him well, right? They're doing their best, but he makes it a point to keep his distance. They can only do so much. You were an orphan once, Kiyu-san. Do you have any suggestions? Uh... Find something he's interested in? Maybe you could figure out something he's interested in. Hmm, yes, I suppose that might make him open up a bit. Because if you can find something that he actually wants to participate in and talk about and stuff, then that's your in, right? That's the way to have the kids, like, get, get together and get on with each other. Find common interest. I wonder what that would be. Did you get any details when you took him in? Where he's from, what his hobbies are, anything? Hmm. Well, apparently he did used to take care of the class pet at his old school. It's possible he has a soft spot for animals. Sounds like that's your answer. But we don't have any pets at Sunflower. Well, that won't do. Good thing I just gave you a hundred grand. You can get a fucking pet. <laughs> hmm. Where could I possibly find a pet? Do I have to go and buy a pet or something? Huh. I guess it sounds like... Because, like, this one's blue. Why is this one blue? Oh, is that one blue? Oh, I get it. I thought... You know what? For some reason, I thought blue ones were ones that we hadn't started yet. But no, this one's blue because this is the Mahjong one, which we did start accidentally. And the white ones are ones that are actual substrates. Okay, I get it. I get it. I didn't need the comment, but if you've already left it, I appreciate you nonetheless. Cool, okay. Uh, from Haruka. Hi, Uncle Kaz. The headmistress told me about your idea for helping Hayato-kun. Do you remember the puppy we saved last year? Oh, right, yeah. I was thinking maybe we could find him and bring him to Sunflower. What do you think? What do you mean, find him? Where did you leave him? Hmm, that's not a bad idea, actually. Wonder what became of that little guy. What? What? We took in a dog and then just abandoned it? Well, I bet the guys from Purgatory can track down a dog. I'll give Magusa a call. What the fuck? Bro. Hello? Do I know Magusa? Who's Magusa? Hey, Magusa. This is Kiryu. Sure, I, I feel like if, I rem if I'm supposed to know this guy, I've forgotten him. <laughs> ah, Kiryu-san. Not a man I expect to get a call from. What's going on? Actually, Haruka and I let a dog loose in the city last year before we left. You just... you just let it loose in the city? You didn't find someone else to take care of it? You didn't give it to a shelter or something? You just let it loose. That is, uh, really bad. I feel like here you wouldn't do that. I feel like that is a little shitty. And by a little, I mean a lot. You didn't happen to keep track of it, did you? Keep track of it? I kept the little guy. Okay, well that's good, but it sounds like that wasn't Kiyu's intention. And it just is something that l he luckily happened. You did? Well, would you be willing to part with him for some kids? <laughs> they need a pet at Sunflower Orphanage. Oh, ain't that the orphanage Haruka grew up at? That's the one. Would you be willing, or did you get too attached? Well, for you, Kiyu-san, for the kids, and for this little guy's happiness, I'll do it. Meet me at the theatre. Thanks, Magusa. See you there. I find that so weird. <laughs> I find that incredibly weird. Okay, just stop that. That they're just like, yeah, just got rid of it. You know? What food options do we have around here? What's the biggest food place? Because... It's probably like here, or maybe here. Because it seemed like the small places in Sotenbori basically gave fuck all in the way of stance, and the biggest place gave the most. 
So presumably it works the same here and you want the biggest place. Ring a hut, maybe? Can I, maybe? Hmm, we'll see. Uh, but whilst we're on the way, I guess uh, I guess we may as well do the main quest, seeing as we're literally right here. どこ行ったんだ。どこ行ったんだ。ああ、さっぱりした。汗で体中がベタベタしてたから。サウナにでも行こうと思ったんだけど、隣の店にシャワーがあったから勝手に使わせてもらったわ。そうか。多分昔風
知らない方が良かったとさえ思ったもしかしたら人間には知らなくてもいい過去があるんじゃないのかそれは自分の過去を知っている人間のセリフよ Which secret is he talking about? そうかもしれないな I'm trying to think of a secret that he wishes that I know that he wished he never found out, but I actually can't think of one. Because everything he's found out has been like pretty necessary to find out. Hmm. Which one was he referring to? I don't know. Hey, I've got somewhere I need to go.、Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah? Where? The place is called Purgatory. Purgatory? Sounds cheery. Where is it? Well, the entrance is disguised as a bathroom near a park.、Mm. Really? And just what are we going to find in this purgatory? It's a little corner of the underworld. You never really know. I'm not sure I follow, but I'm coming all the same. Let's move. Hi. Go to purgatory! We're finally going to see Majima. Oh, we're finally going to see Majima. Or not? Why? Kiryu san, yes? Oh? Who's asking? Please, you didn't take that tone with me. I'm a pupil of the Kamaki school, just as you are. Oh, the fucking trainer dude. Kamaki. So the old man is still finding new students. Correct. Master Kamaki sent me to find you. Feel the heat. Oh boy. Here, take this. Letter from Kamaki. Hmm, Master Kamaki wasn't wrong about you. You're truly a man who speaks with his fists. Would you like to trade email addresses? I have valuable info I can give you. What kind of information? Well, sometimes I get word of tough guys who come out of the woodwork to challenge the famed dragon of Dojima. I can tell you who these enemies are and where to find them. Surely Master Kamaki's star pupil wouldn't turn down the opportunity to face a worthy adversary. Surely not. Hmm, you're not wrong. Great, then I'll email you. Farewell. After you win a certain number of street battles, a powerful street boss may appear. Prepare well before taking them on. Oh boy. With that, my job here is complete. Farewell. What do you get for beating the street bosses? They didn't say anything about any rewards or anything. A letter from the old man, huh? Alright. Where is he? Over here, I guess? Taihei Boulevard, East. Eh, sure. Let's go see. What he's got to teach us, seeing as this game is apparently actually difficult. All the bosses, at least. Vroom, vroom, motherfucker. Oh, my prized pupil! So you have chosen to grace me with your presence? Hey there, old man. Long time no see. I'd heard whispers of a dragon rematerializing in the unkempt streets of Kamurocho, and I'm pleased to find they were true. Aye, so Taro Kamaki shall train you anew. You haven't changed at all, old man. Sounds like you're still pretty active, too. Oh, ho, ho! I may be advancing in age, but my strength shall endure as a mighty river through a verdant mountain. Some rapscallions in white jerseys learned that lesson the hard way when they sought to challenge me for ownership of this lot. White jerseys sounds familiar. They are no more, regardless. Now I can dedicate my entire strength to training pupils such as you. Having said that, we have already trained extensively. So, let us first ensure you have not rusted like a blade in the beating rain. Show me your strength, my pupil.、Mm. You just want me to attack you.、Mm? No! 
Why won't you to focus your energy in combat and let that power envelop you? Doing so will draw out the full extent of your strength and elevate your consciousness to a higher state of being. I call this state extreme heat mode. Sounds pretty extreme. You will grow accustomed to it in time. Soon this power shall rise from within you as effortlessly as the sun at dawn. Now, to activate extreme heat mode, press right trigger when you have a full heat gauge. If your heat gauge runs dry, simply attack enemies to fill it. Well then, I believe it is time for you to prove your mettle. Right trigger with a full gauge. This rabble should be adequate subjects for your newly learned ability. Are you ready, my pupil? Uh. I think so. I just have to press right trigger when a foot with a full heat gauge, right? Oh, right you are! You're actually listening! Now then, begin! Ooh, ooh. Extreme heat mode. Your heat gauge will drain constantly, but you'll gain access to some weapons and special attacks not available in regular style. Right. Interesting. Okay, seems fun. Does burn through heat pretty fast, but yeah, that seems pretty cool. Incredible, my disciple! Truly incredible! So that's what you meant by drawing out all of my strength. Cool. Remember that feeling well. It will prove invaluable the next time you're besieged by hooligans. Man, sure would have been nice if they'd fucking unlocked this before the Goda fight so that I could actually do something with all the heat I had in that fight where they had no weapons or anything in the arena for you to actually do anything. <laughs> and there's literally this mechanic in the game to allow you to use your heat and they give it to you after the fight. Fuck me. I shall have another lesson for you in the near future. Now get out there and continue your training. Uh. Will do. Thanks, old man. Cool. Yeah, I think I'll be using that quite a bit. That seems fun. Uh, da -ba -da. Yep. Power will increase. You'll be able to grab objects normally too heavy for you. Ex specific actions. Cool. Yoink. Wait, Bro's got a white thing. Is he able to be spoken to for a new thing immediately? Oi. Oh, ho, the prodigal pupil returns. Are you interested in more training? This session, I would like to sharpen your skill into a metaphorical sword that can cut through your foe's attacks. To that end, you'll be learning the Kamaki Fist Reversal. Oh. That's a counterattack, right? Indeed. It will allow you to deflect blows coming from any direction as though they were mere flies buzzing about your head. What do you say, my dear disciple? Do you wish to learn? Sure. Absolutely. Teach me, old man. Oh, ho, ho. I appreciate your fervent enthusiasm, my dear pupil. Let us begin. As I mentioned previously, this session is meant to enlighten you in the ways of the Kamaki Fist Reversal. To activate it, stand still and wait for an enemy to attack you, then press Y when the heat icon appears. Now then, let us see if you are taking notes, my dear pupil. Yeah, I really needed to take notes on that one. That's a lot of info you just gave. These ruffians will be the subjects of your practice. Take advantage of their office approach and perform a fist reversal. In case you need a reminder, simply stand still. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh. I can do that. Begin! Bro, attack me! <laughs> Lol, I thought he was attacking me. I thought I was... Wait, oh, I don't have the heat for him. Oh, I see. Come on, bitch. Oh, 
Oh, ho, ho, it appears you have mastered this particular skill. Well done, my people. You are an eternal fountain of splendor. Cool. That'll be useful. That is all for this lesson. Now get out there and continue your training. Another thing that you can use with when you have heat. That would have also been useful in that fucking <laughs> fight. God damn. He's got another one by the looks of it. We'll just keep going through these, I guess. Uh, the Komaki Firearm Flip. Counter enemies with guns. I'm not gonna... The dialogue is, it seems to be mostly the same between each of these. So I'm not gonna read it all out. Because I feel like I'm basically saying the same thing every time. Developed by my ancestors for use against flintlock rifles. They carry a piece. Uh, enter a fighting stance near an opponent with a gun, then press Y. When you say enter a fighting stance, what does that mean? Like, press X to attack and then do it, maybe? What, do, what, is, what is a fighting stance? <laughs> Counterfeit, great. Oh, right. Oh, the is the fighting stars. I see, I see. You are astounding. <laughs> Clap. Any more for any more. He do indeed be having more. Oi. <laughs> a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. True. Uh, a one-on-one -on -one sparring match. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll read this. This is different. Why do you want to fight me to begin with? Mm -hmm. I suppose I owe you an explanation, my dear pupil. I have surveyed your abilities for quite some time now, and you have yet to show even a trace of decline. That's because I uh, never had any skill in the first place. Well, I do keep pretty active. Oh, yeah. That is good to hear, my dear pupil, but an active lifestyle alone is not enough. You must truly embrace the path of the martial artist if you wish to avoid stagnation. Hmm. Hence, today's sparring session. Your form in the Kamaki style will only improve if you forge your resolve against a strong opponent. And you're that strong opponent. Oh, correct you are. It wouldn't be very exciting if you were simply swatting down my other pupils like houseflies now, would it? The strongest opponent possible stands before you now. And honestly, I'd just like to fight you again. Heh, <laughs> you never change, old man. Are you sure about this, though? I won't hold back in a fight. <laughs> I'd expect nothing less, my dear pupil. After all, you would never land a single hit on me if you didn't exert yourself to the fullest. I am as a leaf, fluttering about in the wind, impossible to grasp without the utmost precision and concentration. Uh-huh. Therefore, you must try your hardest if you wish to succeed. Anything less would result in utter failure. No weapons, no items, and no heat actions. It will be a pristine showdown between our twin life energies. Who shall emerge the victor? Now, my dearest disciple, we fight. No heat actions. Bro just spent a bunch of subquests showing me how to use heat actions, and then he's like, yeah, no heat actions, though. <laughs> Wait, he said no items, didn't he? Does that mean I can't heal? Ah, oh, fuck. Well, I'm not gonna win then. <laughs> Bro, just massively stunlocked. Yeah, you can't heal, so I'm not winning. Hello? 
What is he doing? What the fuck? He was just like crouched over, not doing anything. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. Sure. I'll just I'll just be over here then. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, that's all we'll be doing with Kamaki during this game. <laughs> Do I have enough to level up? Not that one. Stats. Uh, what was the XP one? 655. Okay. Well, we've got enough green. We don't have... We've only got like half the yellow. Hmm. Shall we go and find a restaurant? What would be the best restaurant? I have no idea, but... We can try a sushi place. Maybe try that joint. I think I was going to try that joint. Yeah. Let's have a look. Let us have a little look-see at the options, shall we? Get that XP gain up even higher. Uh, is this the... No. Where's the entrance to this joint? Around here? Hello? What is going on here? <laughs> is this just their mascot or something? Sup? Uh, do you do anything that gives any real amount of points? No, you do not. No, I'm trying to run. I guess we can try the joint straight ahead. Nope. Is there anywhere that fucking does decent stuff here, or would I need to like travel back to Sotenbori? I assume I can just get in a cab, right, and keep traveling back. Everywhere here just is shit. Everywhere here just sells terrible food compared to... Oh my god, it's really annoying that she stands right next to you and so when you press A to sprint, it talks to her every time. Yeah, everywhere here seems just like bad in comparison. Uh... Oh, you're the guy with the dog. Oh, there's the dog. Hello, dog. Oh, oh Kiryu-san. Looking good, man. It's been a while. How have you been? I guess we do know this guy. I do not remember him at all. At all. Not bad. Me and Pochitaro here became pretty good friends after last year. Pochitaro. Isn't that the name Haruka gave him? Why would he change his name? <laughs> yeah. You've gotten bigger, but not much. <laughs> I think Pochitaro is going to love those kids just as much as they love him, Kiyu-san. It's about time he got off the streets. Thanks for this, Mugusa. I truly have no memory of this guy. When the fuck did we meet him? Oh, good. <laughs> have we just stepped into another side story? Hey, you there. 
Are you the bouncer I'm supposed to meet? Actually, don't answer that. We're keeping this hush hush, right? Hear you, the bouncer. Excuse me? You don't have any idea what I'm talking about, do you? Damn it, why does this keep happening? You should have been here by now. Hey, slow down. Ugh, I even slipped him some cash in advance to make sure he'd show up. This is bad. I'm toast if I don't have someone watching my back. I'm sick of getting my ass whooped. Guess I should head back to the club and see what's up. Sounds like my guy's a no-show. If only they'd sent a monster like you. Hey, that gives me an idea. You want to make a quick yen, buddy? A guy like you would make a perfect bouncer. Just ask the bartender at Debola about it. That place makes a killing with under-the-table bouncer services. Hmm, that's not a half bad idea if it pays well. Maybe I'll check out Debola if I have some time. I mean, it's literally right over there, right? Yeah. Should we do that now? Should we give that a shot? Let us try being a bouncer. 